Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and this is Bee Fly Beauty. And today I am doing another episode in my dating review series. This is going to be date number four. Um, this gentleman drew me in with his adorable little glasses. And um, we went out on a date and had a freaking blast. We tried lots of delicious food. We laughed a lot. The conversation had a really easy flow. Um, he understood my really bad jokes and was fine with me waving at a random dog. <laughs> um, so that part was really wonderful. Um, it was kind of interesting trying to get to the date. Um, I don't know if anybody is into Myers-Briggs, but I am an INFJ and he is an ENFP which is good for me because it balances me out, but I like to plan and organize and have some structure, um, part of my personality type, as well as part of my schedule. I work a lot, um, I have a lot of friends, and I try to fit everything in, and so I really like to plan at least a few days in a ahead um, to like pencil that person in, right? I can't really do last minute dates. It just doesn't work for my schedule. Um, if it does, then it works out fine, but that just kind of creates anxiety in me. And um, he said something in a text message that was like, hey, maybe we should find out if we uh, work in person. I'm like, yeah, totally would rather hang out in person instead of texting for three weeks and then realize once we do meet in person, the chemistry is not the same, right? So it's like, yeah, let's do it. Crickets. So this guy is not really a go-getter in this area of his life. Um, so I had to wait, I waited a little bit and I was like, cool, so when are you thinking? And he's like, yeah, well, uh, maybe sometime next week I'm going out of town over the weekend. Cool, no big deal. Like when next week? <laughs> um, like I teach one night a week, I go to Kung Fu one night a week. Um, and so it just kind of was like pulling teeth, trying to get that information from him. Um, and then I didn't hear from him for two days, so I didn't really know what was gonna happen. Um, and then I heard from him and then we ended up planning, I heard from him the beginning of the next week, I think it was Monday. So again, it took us a while to like finalize the date, finalize the time, finalize the place. Um, and, but once we got there, it was awesome. So when we left, I told him I had a wonderful time. The next day, he didn't call or text, and I just said, um, hey, I didn't tell you last night, but I'm totally down to hang out again. If not, no big deal, no pressure, but I just want you to know that I really enjoyed our time together. If we don't hang out again, I'm thankful that we got to meet. He responded with, yes, I would love to hang out again. Um, I was like, cool, crickets for days. Then he says, hello, then he's like, hey, I hope I get to see you, um, uh, like what's your schedule this week? I'm like, well, I have this day to this day open, um, so I have quite a few open days um, in my schedule this week. And he said, well, I sure hope I get to see you before I go out of town, winky face. Well, dude, I just gave you my schedule. So I said, just ask. Like, all you gotta do is ask, and I will say yes. <laughs> and then I haven't heard anything. So, all of that to say that I would still go out with him again, but I'm starting to like feel like a little less attractive to, attractive, attracted to him because he's not like taking it, you know? Like, and I don't need you to be aggressive, I don't need you to be mean, clearly, that last date shows that but just like if you are interested just say hey i want to hang out how about thursday easy right so i learned that i do need someone to do that i can live with someone who doesn't plan very much but like you're gonna have to make a little bit of a compromise there um but dude like if you want it come and get it right anyway so that was my date number four and uh, stay tuned for number five. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.